Diana. Good to see you here. I tried to get on earlier, but I was tired. I needed a damn shower to wake up a little bit. I've been like so completely drained and it's I know it's because I'm doing this too much. I know I'm working too much. So I'm doing a little bit of private readings on top of it and then, you know, we're always working something. So I just I think I've just drained myself. That's where I've been. And then tonight I was like, I had to really push myself to get on. And I was like, well, maybe if I take a shower, I'll feel better. So that's why I'm on a little later. Because I had to take a shower like last minute. Try to wake up. I actually know, don't really know anything about this case. I know it's um, kind of big here in Arizona. Um, because I guess that's where it happened at. I don't know exactly where, but I've, I've been seeing people talking, like, mentioning it in the group, in the groups, because they were going to do searches. So I thought, well, maybe I should do it in case I get any good information. Maybe they can check it if they're going to go searching, you know. So, that's... I actually need to go through all my readings and type them up so I have the information. Thank you. Yeah, I hope I get good stuff. I don't know. I never know, you know. All spirits different, and sometimes I get strong information. Sometimes I don't. It just depends. So we'll see. I've been wanting to actually work this for a long time. I got Robinson on my random list somewhere. Hey, so put the hissing. I'm glad you're here midnight noon because I don't know if any of my other um, mods are going to be here. Because I know Tammy was taking a nap and or Shazam was taking a nap. And then um, going somewhere is at a work thing, so... I was wondering if I was going to have any. I'm wanting to do a live for members tomorrow night. Midnight noon. I'm wanting to do, I think, Kanika Jenkins. Um, I think my, my, um, my memberships are going to be kind of more like mysterious cases, I guess. I don't know. It'll be similar to Patreon stuff, but, but a little different. So I'm hoping to do that tomorrow, and then I need to probably work a Patreon one. I'm going to do Black Delilah for the next Patreon one. Um, so, um, thank you, Blue Willow Tarot. So I'm hoping to do that tomorrow. I don't know anything about that case either. Like, I swear I live under a rock. Um, I don't know. I may. Would you stop it? My dog's after a bug or something. Fly. I don't know if I'm gonna do another one for Kira Coles. Um, it's hard because I don't have anybody to search areas. So it's like I do this stuff and I get I get locations and then I get frustrated. Um, I do have somebody in the area for Kira Coles, and I'm probably saying that completely wrong. And um. I know that they were looking, so I don't know. I have a lot of cases to work. We're just, I'm just kind of going, I'm not doing it in any particular order. I'm just going by what I'm, where I'm drawn, um, and what pops in my, who pops in my head and when they pop in my head, that's kind of just what I'm doing. And I'm doing it that way because I know spirit does interconnects. So there's a reason that they have me go in a certain order. Um, I did a lot of work on Maura Murray, but I didn't put any of it out because I was actually working with her dad privately. But I think I actually might do one. I might do a live reading on her um, and just not put out any of the other stuff. I just want to kind of start over um, and see what I get. 
on her. Um, I also did Brian Schaefer, but I didn't release any of that either because it was weird because I got when I did two different readings and I got kind of different information. So I might do him again as well and just just put the live out, the live reading out. So. Yes, thank you. Thank you for the uh, memberships. Or I actually have pretty good, I wonder if I can figure out how many members I have now. Water my dang ear for my shower. I'm just giving people a little bit of time to get on here. Uh, I think I can figure out. Now my subscribers are going up, so thank you for that. Um, I'm so confused on my revenue. I don't understand it. Where is it? Memberships. So I should be able to see how many memberships I have. No. I can't tell. It doesn't say how many. It just gives me an amount. But quite a few are getting there. Probably about the same amount that I have on Patreon. So I'm just giving everybody a chance. As long as it keeps going up. The see, we went up, and then now we're going down again. So, um, I'm going to give people a little bit, and then I'm going to get started, because it's getting late. Like I said, I didn't mean to be on this late, but. <sighs> it just happened. <laughs> Um, Blue Willow Tarot, do you also do Patreon or no? I know on there I've got a couple of Ted Bundy readings and I got an OJ Simpson one. So, we'll see how many, uh, <laughs> how much I can get done this week. Like I said, I'm I'm starting to feel really tired, so I'm overdoing it a little bit. Um, and my podcast is a little late because my co-host had COVID, so um, we didn't get to we didn't get to record on Saturday like we normally do. So, and the only time I think I can fit in recording is on Saturday with her. So we might have to, unless she releases Jennifer Casey that we did. We did it, and I didn't want to release it because I thought it was crappy. I thought it was a crappy reading. I wasn't happy with it. Um, when it came to location, we couldn't figure out a location, but you know, a lot of times we don't. So I told her, I said, if it's still good, cause she was editing it anyways. So if it's still good, we should just release it because spirit always gives stuff for a reason. And maybe when I'm talking about somebody else will know. So we might just go ahead and release it. Um, I wasn't, I did that months ago, but just wasn't happy with it for some reason. It's okay. Hey, stop it. I thought we'd get more people for him tonight, even though it's late. Because even though, like, I do late ones, like, if I was doing summer or something like that, we'd have, like, a bunch of people in here. So it's kind of sad that only certain cases get attention. And, you know, Dylan's, I was going to do another one, but I don't see the point because they're not open to listening anyways. So, good luck on that. Hopefully they can just find him off of facts, but.
Yeah, I'm feeling a little off. I don't know. I guess you say. This will be an interesting one. I don't want to work it for a few months now. I think it's a little far for me to go. And that's actually a really dangerous area. Um, I don't know. Maybe if we get a location, I can contact someone in one of the groups. Because I saw, like, we have, like, a missing Arizona group here. And I know they were talking about them in there. And they were trying to get a search together. So maybe I can contact someone in there and see if um, they'd be interested in what I got. Uh, because, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I get. Hi, Sandy. Oh, yeah, licorice. <laughs> he's an interesting cat. He only lets me pet him when he comes to me, and then he's all loving and stuff. But, like, if I go to pet him, if he's around somewhere, he'll run. <laughs> I don't know why. He's just but he's a very loving cat, but it's just on his terms. He's a weirdo. And Simba, who I lost last year, they were buddies. They grew up together, so. Come on, buddy. I'm talking about you. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Aw. Uh, yeah, his name's Licorice. Like, Black Licorice. I don't know why I named him that. It just kind of came to me. Huh. Are you giving me winks? All right, I'm just clearing, and it looked like my numbers were going up, so I was giving people a chance. <sighs> there we go. We got 14 people now. Make sure you guys hit the like button as you come in, please. Post my algorithm, and we want my we want my video seen because this is about giving the voiceless a voice so this is about giving victims a voice um so we definitely want you know the video seen and hopefully by the right people and smashing the like button is going to help that happen so He ran away. All the dogs are in the way. <laughs> He's like, Mom, you're ignoring me. What's up with that? I'm already starting to feel weird stuff. Um, already. So we're going to start here in a minute. I'm just clearing as I'm letting people come in. Yeah, actually, it was kind of a long day. And it was raining here. And then when I got home, every time I go out to get hay, it ends up being like a few hours. And um, then I get home and I was trying to take care of the dogs, but it was raining outside, so they were outside in the sprinkles for a little bit, and then I fed everybody, and then I had to take a shower because I was tired. Um, I was actually being pushed, I was actually being pushed by um, Shazam to get on yesterday, and I was just like, I just can't, like, I have to understand a certain point where my body is just like, no, you energetically need to relax. So that's why I wasn't on Saturday or Monday. Sunday, I could take the day off. But, um, you know, it just comes a point when I'm too tired to even do anything, including make myself something to eat. I know that it's I need to take a break. So that's what I was trying to do for the last few days is take a break. And but I'm like, I'm still tired now. But I was like, oh, I'm going to take a shower and see if I can. That's why I'm late. I'm going to take a shower and see if I could wake up a little bit because, man. Yeah, I know. I know, but the thing is, is, um, like, this is my income between YouTube and, and readings. It's my income, like, so it's my job. So it's the only job that I have because I'm trying to make it work. Because um, I kind of made a 
a pact with God about it. Um, I told him if he saved if he saved Roscoe for me, I would I would work harder with this, and he did. So, you know, I do overdo it though. That's what I was trying to explain. Crime, especially, is very very. Um, it's very, very draining. It's more draining than regular readings. People don't understand. I don't know why. I don't know if it's the emotions and stuff that are involved in crime readings, but um, any medium will tell you that crime readings are a lot more draining than regular readings, which I don't know. Maybe I've been doing, starting to do it more that I'm not recognizing that they're, that it's, that it's more draining. I don't know. Um, so, and I'm having pains already, so he's already trying to come in. I'm just clear. I'm trying to clear. <laughs> I always forget to do that before I come on. Yeah, um, kind of. I don't know. I think I think there's a few different reasons. We have to work harder to get the information as well. Yeah, he's already starting to come in. Hi, Lori. Hi guys. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get going because I already feel him. Hey, my neck's hurting. Um, so I actually don't know much about this case, but I'm just gonna do my little spiel and hopefully, as I'm talking, that you know we'll get more stragglers in or whatever. If not, they can rewatch it later. So um, there's lots of ways to support me and my channel and my work. If you know you're all for Get it? Stop. If you're all for, you know, giving victims a voice, that's what this channel is about. So I do have Patreon where I do have a couple of readings um, for Ted Bundy on there and for OJ. And I'm going to be doing Black Delilah hopefully this week. So if you have not checked out Patreon, please, if you're interested in those kind of cases, um, please do so. I try to do cases where you kind of always wonder what happened in certain things. And I'm just I'm just going kind of where I'm led, where Spirit's leading me when it comes to my regular YouTube and when it comes to Patreon and memberships. I'm kind of just going where I'm led. So that's, that's the stuff that's going on on Patreon right now. And I'm going to... Oh, my book is also down below. It's R&R Love, A Twin Flame Story. You can find it on Amazon. It's kind of a spiritual look into twin flames and um, addictions and abuse and things like that. It's a different perspective and kind of my story a little bit. Um, there's also a link to merchandise below if you're interested in sweatshirts or t-shirts. I know that Blue Willow has a couple if she really liked them. Um, so that's also down below. If you need to get a hold of me for readings, I do have um, from 20 minutes ranging all the way up to an hour. Uh, you can reach me through the psychic sleuth at gmail.com or you can um, reach me on Facebook through the psychic sleuth podcast group. If you're not a part of that, please join as well as on Instagram. Um, my podcast, if you guys have not checked out the podcast, it's completely free. The link is also down below, but you can find the link for Lauren Spear is also down below. Um, so if you click on that Lauren Spear, because I did do that reading on there and it turned out really, really good. If you click on that, it'll take you to the rest. Um, there's some really good ones on there. You can find it on Spotify as well. And that's something that you can listen to as you're doing whatever yard work, cleaning, working, whatever. So, um, if you haven't followed the podcast, please do so. Also, um, I think that's it. Donation. Oh, I do have Super Chat Super Stickers. 
donations um, is at the top as well if you feel so inclined. This does take a lot of time and energy. It's not, it doesn't, you don't have to, but it's there if you want to. Um, I'm trying to think if that was it. Oh, yeah, the memberships, as I was talking about, I am going to be doing a membership reading, a membership live tomorrow. I'll try to get on a little bit earlier. Um, it's going to be on Kanika Jenkins. I don't really know much about that case, but for some reason, I just feel a pull towards it. So that'll be a members only live, hopefully tomorrow, hopefully earlier. Um, so the link for that is below. And also, I think it's on my YouTube anyways. So if you guys are new here, and if you're watching this, even not as a live, just reminding you, information can be past, present, or future, symbolic, or have multiple meanings. Spirit will sometimes use my references or experiences to try to explain what they are trying to say. Sometimes it can be a little bit like charades, but um, usually we can sort of figure things out. I do get interconnects, so keep that in mind that not everything may fit here. We're noticing the interconnects are happening a couple cases prior to the next case that I work. Um, so it's like I'll get the information prior and it'll fit a case I haven't worked yet. Or um, And it can go back even years you know, Riker, the interconnect was in 2019. So it's it's kind of interesting. It's, I know it's a little confusing, but that is the way that spirit works. I don't really know why, but it's like we kind of notice it and it can fit more than one case too. So like something I get here can fit this case, but it can also fit another case. It's just, it's kind of like a pattern. It's very, I don't, it's very interesting. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why they work with me like that, but they do. So keep that in mind. Um, you may validate in the chat, but please do not give me any extra information. I try not to know anything about cases. I try to go in extremely blind because I feel that it's just better that way. If I know things about the case, I feel it muddies the water and it's hard to tell your own thoughts and feelings from spirit sometimes. So I just rather not know anything. Um, so, and as far as your own thoughts, your own intuition, whatever, please, it'll mess me up. Just don't say it. You can think it or whatever, but please don't put it in the chat. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah. I can't promise I'll get a location. I can't promise I'll get every, you know, bit and piece or I don't know what I'm going to get. I just, whatever spirit can give me is what I'll get. Um, so... <sighs> Sorry, I have a message. So every spirit gives me is what I'm going to get. That's plain and simple. I can't promise anything, um, but I'll do the best that I can. All spirits different in the way that they work, and all mediums are different in the way that they work. So keep that in mind. I don't work the way that others work and vice versa. Um, this is for entertainment purposes only. Okay, viewer discretion is advised sometimes on these readings. I just say it. I don't know for sure what I'm going to get, so I just like to, I'm going to start saying that. Um, so this is not in no way facts. It's just psychic medium impressions. And everyone is innocent until proven guilty in the court of law. So, um... So, sorry, I have somebody that is wanting a reading, so. Um, I do have, where did my new pin go? I just brought a new pin over here, and it's, where did it go? Here it, here it is. I have all these empty pins. I'm like, what the heck? I do scribble to try to um, focus to get the information. Usually, I, you know, back Back before, I would just do, auto, you know, I would do typing because I, I do connect deeper that way, but I also do get more interconnects that way, and I think things can be a little all, all over the place at times, so I've been trying to do this way so that it's focused a little bit more, and, um, you know, if I ever feel like I need to get more information on a case, I can always do an, a typing one. Um, but I do feel like this way spirit does get does give important information and they kind of get straight to the point and give them the most the most important information that we need. 
So, um, Blue Willow says, yep, I love my shirt and also my book. It's really good. So I'm so glad. Thank you so much. And I'm glad you're here, Patty. It's good to see you. Um, yeah, I am taking care of myself. I promise. I just am a little tired and a little drained. So I'm going to pull up his picture in just a second. I don't really like the tea I made this time. He's already, he's, he's already been trying to come through. So I hope I said everything I was supposed to say. <laughs> I'm just going to pull up his picture and see, we'll see what I got. He's already coming in anyways. I can see flashes and he's making my neck hurt. So that's been hurting the whole time we've been talking here. Um, You know what's weird is, like, when I went to put in for my images, like, to so put him on the thing. Oh, now it comes up. Maybe I spelled it wrong before. It, like, wasn't popping up. So, I really, I try not to know anything about cases. Like I said, I really don't know much about this case. Um, I need a closer up picture. I'm looking for a picture of him. I'm going to use this picture. Hello, Linda. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to be working other cases in the member within the membership lives and doing other things in there too. We're going to get that started. I just needed to get a few more members, which I have. So I'm going to be doing that. All right. But I do think that my my location skills are getting better because I've been able to locate objects. We've located about 10 different objects, and I located someone's cat. And then I'm waiting to hear back on somebody else's cat. And then um, the runaways and stuff. So I think, I think the location stuff is getting better. So hopefully. It's just hard when it's like... I, I don't get a lot of names and stuff. I'm very visual with the stuff, the way that spirit works with me. So they mostly work with me through my clairvoyance. Yes, they talk to me, but it's harder for me to get names. So I really struggle like with, um, I mean, I can get them. It just depends. I just, it's not, not my strongest point. So I usually remote view, um, something my freaking eye so I usually remote view areas and so that's why I'm like I can describe what's around me and I can see it in detail but I see it like I'm there so if I'm looking at it from from a map it's a lot harder um it's just to try to explain why sometimes it's a little difficult to get locations and it's weird because like lately whenever a spirit shows me sometimes like in a dream or whatever like for instance the Waverly thing they show me in a map in my sleep so um it's it's weird <laughs> uh but yet on readings sometimes I can see it map ways but usually I just see it like I'm there so it makes it a little difficult so if it's if I'm in the forest it's kind of hard if I'm in the desert it all looks the same right so it's hard to get um, landmarks and things like that, but I do try. So again, I can only give you guys what they give me. Let's go ahead. We're going to start. We're going to start here. His teeth are really white in this picture. <laughs> I don't know why that like just stuck out to me. Yeah, guys hit the like button. Thanks, Kathy and Patty. Appreciate it. We're missing some of my regulars tonight. Poor Shazam sleeping. She said she'd wake up, but I was like, don't worry about it. Okay. And if there are things that I do happen to know, I only say things that I get. So regardless, 
I'll only say it if I'm seeing it, if I'm being shown it. He comes across as um, very intelligent, like a very intelligent person. And even, I think he even spoke with intelligence, like when he would speak. Um, I hear the words really smart kid, but I mean, he's obviously not a kid, but to me, because he's a lot younger. Um, I'm telling you, sometimes I feel things first before they tell me anything else. So I do have to tell you I have a splitting headache into my ears and my neck is killing me on this side. On this side, it's killing me. So um, I hear the word discrepancies like they're, okay, so... Sorry, he's trying to bring in a bunch of stuff at once and I'm... I want to start, I don't know if he went to college or school or something like that. There's some kind of education around him. And I feel like he actually liked education. And I don't know if he was kind of a technical person, but he comes across as kind of a technical, a technical person. Um, I'm seeing crystals and things like that and um, stones and crystals. He is very into stuff about the earth. Um, as a ref I, I mean, I hear geologists. So I just hear that over and over and over again. And I feel like he had it. I hear the word collection like he had a possible some kind of rock collection or crystal collection or geode collection that comes in. Um, and he shows me it's like huge. And I feel like it was, he was also organized with it, but I feel like he, he liked this from when he was a little boy. Um, it was something he was always into. He was always in, um, and I'm hoping maybe his family will be able to validate that, validate this but it's almost like I see him digging in the dirt as a kid and trying to find things. Um, and I'm getting the chills as I'm saying that. So. I'm going to put this on. Sorry, I should have put it on to not disturb. So, yeah, he, he comes across as, like, always being kind of interested in this stuff. I don't know if he was interested even in dinosaurs when he was younger. Because I'm kind of getting that sense, too. And also, I think he has a kind of interest in the way things work. I don't know why that's coming in. But, um... He's just showing me like this whole huge collection of like geodes and crystals and rocks. And he says even something about a lava rock. Um, so yeah, he was really into that stuff. It was like a complete passion. It was more than just a job. And I feel like he traveled a lot and did a lot of things with it. Um, you know, like travel to different places and stuff. Looking for different things. I don't know why he's talking about lava rock. Lava rock. It's kind of weird. I don't, I don't even know if we have those in Arizona or if he went somewhere to get it. But, And I don't know if he even found a meteorite because I hear the word meteorite. So I don't know if he found like, um, you know, like the meteorite rock that they, I know like uh, my son's uncle has one. So I know that they exist, but I don't know if that's what they're called. 
But he had quite a collection. That's what he shows me. So I don't know what is what is up with his mental state. Um, for some reason, I feel like his mental state was off. I don't think it was always like that, but like something was off either a couple days leading up to his disappearance or the day of, but I feel like he was in a a different frame of mind than normal. I don't like he doesn't feel like himself if that makes sense. And I don't really know I don't really know where that's coming from. I don't know if he had a history of it or not. But and he's making this eye like feel weird. So I don't know if he had an if there's an issue with his left eye. Or if that has something to do with what happened. But this eye feels weird. It's like um, either it's weaker or stronger. I don't, I don't know. I've never felt anything like that before in a reading. So I don't really know what that means. And that's my left eye. So I, don't, I have no idea. It just feels super weird. Like it's not matching my right eye. And that's weird because I've never experienced that. No. A reading before. Um, my cat's doing it, I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't know where, I don't know where he's from. I was trying to figure that out. I'm getting super hot though. But there's a discrepancy with his mileage, he's saying. So I don't know if that's because I don't really know what I don't really know what that is or why why that would be. I'm not seeing that yet. Because what I'm trying to see is if he's by himself or if he's with anybody. That's one thing I'm trying to focus on right now. Um and he might skip around. I'm trying to go in order, but he keeps bringing this neck pain to me and this head pain. And then I get accident with it. So, um, but what I'm trying to do is see if he was with anybody. Because it's very odd. And my breathing is like my chest is heavy. Um, but I, all the side of my face, all the side of my head and my face is like hurting and is kind of like feels really weird. And the side of my neck is what's been hurting since I was telling you guys that he was making it hurt. Um, so it's like all this side for some reason is just jacked up. And he's making me feel it jacked up. So I'm getting like a super, like super migraine. Um, I don't like when they give me headaches because, I mean, I do, but I like them to give it to me and stop, and sometimes they don't, and it, I don't know, but this eye is freaking weird. I don't, I'm not understanding what's going on with my eye right now. And I'm burning up, I'm burning up, so yeah, he's making me hot. I don't know if he um, actually went. Say, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Seriously? Sorry. They're usually very quiet. I apologize for that. But sometimes 
especially this one will feel spirit and she gets a little antsy and does stuff like that. Hi. Hi. I apologize. They're usually very quiet. Um, stop. It's okay. It's okay. This one especially, she feels spirit and she gets a little... So I do hear the word partner. I don't know if anybody knows if he had one that he used to go on digs with. Um, people do want me to help it, though. Um, these are my good dogs, and so they're usually good. But You'd be amazed at what people say to me regarding the animals. So... I don't know. I keep getting a partner or like a friend and I don't know. I don't really know how that fits. Um, I don't know if he had planned on meeting one, if he had planned on going with someone at one time or he was supposed to be with someone at one time. I don't know. Um, I just keep picking that up or he was going to meet someone. I don't know. There's something, there's something about it. Hey, stop it. It's weird because I feel like I'm driving, but I can't. I'm trying to see if there's anybody with him or not. That's the one thing that I'm trying to see if he's by himself or not. For this case. No, I'm actually trying to see. I'm trying to see if he was alone or not. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Because he shows me him driving, but there's a reference to a partner or a friend or something. And I don't know if that was someone that he was supposed to meet up with or not. Um, I lost this picture. It's weird because I feel like I'm driving faster than I should. Um, as if maybe I'm being followed or chased or something like that. I don't know if that makes sense. Um... I also hear the words lost, like maybe he got lost at one point. Um, no, sometimes she'll just growl out of nowhere. It's weird. It's weird because my mind feels a little jacked up, but um, I hear the word lost. Like he got he got lost at some point. Why 
kind of feel like I'm being chased or something. It's weird. I feel like I'm... I feel like maybe I'm being followed in another vehicle or chased or something like that. Um... Kind of odd. Because there's a reference to two, two Mexican men. But I don't really know what they're... I don't... Who they are, who they, where they came from. Um, I do get the number 10. And now the front of my head is hurting. Like, he's just making my head hurt really bad. Um, In a, in a car, because like I said, I, I feel like he's going faster. I feel like he's going faster than he's than he should be. And I don't know if this is in his mind or if this is like really happening, because I feel like his mind wasn't. Wasn't right. Um, at at some point, like. I don't know if he he did something to make people question his where his mind was at or his sanity um, in the days leading up to or that day. So again, I mean, I've done I've done a reading before where I felt really real the entire time, and it ended up being all in his mind. Um, so that's that's one thing is I I'm trying to decipher. Why I feel like I'm being chased. Um, or followed, I guess I should say. Because there's this sense of looking over my shoulder. Um, and also, like, I'm not where I was supposed to be. Uh, like, I... I got lost and I'm I'm somewhere else than where I was supposed to be. I don't know if that makes sense. Cuz like I said I don't know really anything about this case. There's a reference to a green, greenish color. It's like a greenish Jeep looking thing. I don't know. I don't know. I think you could off-road in it, but I don't think it was like an off, off, off-roading vehicle. Um, I also hear the word professor, so I don't know if at one point maybe he, he had... He wanted to be that in these kind in in geology, um, or if there was a professor that had a certain impact on him. But I think it was more like maybe he was strive. He wanted to strive to be that one day. <sighs> I'm trying to see what happened, and I'm really struggling with it for some reason. But hopefully, we'll get there. I feel like I took a wrong turn and I'm lost. I wonder how close that is to the border. Right there. Cuz I hear Mexico border, but I don't I don't know exactly how close it is to the border right there. I 
it's almost like I feel like I'm somewhere I wasn't supposed to be or I ended up somewhere I shouldn't have been. Um, and I don't feel like I'm in a good, I don't feel like I'm in a good place. Um, hmm. I hear there were human trafficking, but I'm not saying that he was human trafficked. I think it might just be in that area. I feel like he got off track. Like that's how that's how it comes across. Like he got he wasn't exact I don't know if he got lost or something, but he wasn't exactly where he was supposed to be. Okay. Cuz I'm close. I mean, I'm 45 minutes away from the border, but um but New Mexico. But so that's what I mean when it like close it doesn't have to be like right there, but within, you know. Like it's close to the border. Like 45 minutes, that's close to me. I'm not saying right. Right there. But. I don't know. There's I keep get picking up these two guys. These two Mexican guys. And they've got big guns. And I again, I don't know if it's in his mind or not. Okay, they've got some kind of weird Jeep or vehicle or something like that too. Almost kind of does remind me of the cartel or. But I don't know if it's in his mind. That's what I'm that's what I'm struggling to because like I said, I had somebody do a reading. I did somebody a reading with someone and he's schizophrenic and he took me through every the whole thing. And I thought it was real the entire time and it wasn't. And so that's kind of hard because they sometimes do tell you what they think, think or that they're going through. But in this case, I mean, I don't know. It's hard because I feel like his mind wasn't right. But at the same time, I'm feeling nauseous. Um, I don't know. He's got pretty strong energy, I think. But at the same time, he's struggling to show me what, like, what happened. <sighs> I keep seeing a lot of sand, and then there's, like, I get a reference to 10. I think it's Highway 10. And then there's a reference to, um, oh, that's a picture. Uh, there's mountains in the background, but there's a lot of, a lot of sand. Again, I feel like I'm being, I feel like I'm somewhere I'm not supposed to be, or that's how it's coming across, and it sucks because I'm feeling like super nauseous, but he's No. No. You have to Google the thing. There's nothing. This is... Um... I think he was headed somewhere else, but I don't know if he got turned around. But I, I do get that he was lost and he was somewhere he wasn't supposed to be. But there's something about... There's something about... Um, like, being in an area you shouldn't be in. 
And I don't know if that's an area where... Because I keep pulling, p picking up these two Mexican men. And again, I don't know if it's in his mind or not, but... I keep picking them up, and they it's like they are... Um, they're following him. But I don't know if if they're really following him or he's just perceiving as that they're following him, you know? Um, it's pretty odd how it's kind of coming across. And very confusing. And I feel like super sick. Like spirit usually doesn't make me feel like this. I mean, sometimes they do, but Cause it's like I go, it's like I, I go too far. This is where the discrepancies in the mileage come in is I think he was lost. I feel like I'm driving around and like, maybe I went too far and then I turned around and then I came back. But at the same time, I keep seeing him looking over his shoulder. Like that's something that keeps coming in. And again, I don't know if he's just worried because he feels like he's being followed or he's actually being followed because he's in an area like he shouldn't be in. Um, cause that comes in like, uh, like I'm, I'm not supposed to be, I'm not supposed to be in this area. I hear the name Eduardo, but I don't know, which means Edward, right? In Spanish. And I do hear two men laughing. Like, um. Like kind of creepy laughing. I feel like I'm freaking being chased. But at the same time, it's like if he was being chased, wouldn't there have been another vehicle? I don't know if there was any other vehicle um, tire tracks out there or not. So it's like something made him run off the road. Because I feel like all of a sudden I, like I'm on. So I feel like I'm on the pavement and then all of a sudden I'm on sand and I'm driving on sand. And I feel like I flip. And that's where my neck and my head comes in. But now I'm trying to see if those the guys followed him or he's just or if he gets out to run. Cause I don't know why I feel panic with him. He feels like he's super panicked. flies I don't know it's confused it's just kind of confusing like Well, I just think he's in an area. It's not the area doesn't feel like it's a good area. Um, and I don't know 
if he was somewhere else prior, you know, uh, that's, that's not, I'm not seeing that part. Like if he was somewhere else prior and then he got in a vehicle and, you know, got in his vehicle and then that's when he got lost. Like he was running from someone because I feel like, you know, whether these guys are just screwing with him, you know, because I can hear him laughing. Um, so I don't know if they were just like messing with him or like they really wanted to hurt him. I don't know. But for some reason, from his from his state of mind, I feel um, I feel scared and I feel like nervous and I, I feel like I'm being like chased. Um, so again, I don't know if that's his because his state of mind. I don't know because us picking up his state of mind was was different than normal. So again, I don't know if that's his state of mind or actually he did run into some unsavory characters, and they were, and they were sort of um, chasing him and making him feel uneasy or following him and making him feel uneasy. You know what I mean? Because that's kind of how it, it's coming across. Um, and that's what I was trying to figure out earlier about him being alone in the car, because I kept picking up a partner and friend, um, but as I'm And I didn't know, I didn't know if that was because he wasn't alone or not. But as I'm in the vehicle with him, I, I don't feel anybody with me. Um, No, I just, I think that's why his, I think that's why he got in an accident and flipped the car was because, because like I said, I feel like I'm on a regular road and then all of a, all of a sudden I'm on sand, on, I'm on sand and then it's like I flip it, but I see that he climbs out, but there's a reference to a head injury. Head and neck is what he keeps, what I keep picking up with him. Um, like that was injured, and that's why I think I was feeling was injured in the in his crash that he had. But it was because he was he was driving too fast, and it it comes across as he feel like I feel like he's trying to get away from these guys now. Whether these guys are just screwing with him, you know, or they were really chasing him. I don't know because what's it's so weird the way that these guys are coming in the way that I'm picking them up is like you know how and I'm not saying this is in Mexico but you know how like in Mexico they have the guys that like are in jeeps and they sit up high and they have like guns like that's how I keep seeing them and it's so weird like I don't I don't really know why I'm seeing them that way it's a little confusing to be honest And I don't really know why they're chasing him either. If they are, in fact, chasing him and it's not in his mind. Um, there's definitely something more with his head than just... There's definitely something more, more... That's why I'm curious about this area. Like, does that happen in this area? Are there unsavory characters that would do something like this um, that could be related to the cartel or whatever. I don't know. But it's like that's how I keep seeing the two men, and they're also in some kind of Jeep or truck or something. Utility. I hear a utility vehicle. Some kind of... But, like, you know, the, like, Jeep, Jeep or truck or something. But I think it's a Jeep because... so odd. 
Like, I keep seeing it, though, so it's got to be part of the story because it's not going away. I don't know if he side-eyed somebody. Did he stop at a gas station or something like that? Well, I know I feel like I got before that he got like a green Jeep. Okay. I was picking up a green Jeep with him or a green kind of sporty kind of Jeep car. Um, I so I know that's him, but these guys are in like in a beige, like a beige, like old school Jeep, not not a newer one, like an old school one is what it looks like. But did he stop at a gas station or something? Because there's something with a gas station and him him looking at someone wrong or well his was yes his is like a greenish weirdish color like it not like it's a it's a weird green i don't know i don't know that color green All right i said that earlier that I was picking up a greenish colored vehicle with him, like a Jeep or something that you can go off roading with, but not like really off roading. Like, I don't think he had the right tires to be in that amount of sand. But there's something with a gas station where he stopped. Because I'm picking up, like, he's showing me, I'm he's getting gas and he's look, these, there's these two guys, and then I don't know if he looked at him wrong or something like that. But it feels like that's where it started at. They didn't like the way he looked at him or something. Or they like the way he looked. Or there's something that happened when he stopped I feel like he stopped to get gas or he stopped at a gas station or something that right there, like before all this happened. And that's why they started following him because he keeps showing me a gas station and him getting gas. And that's when it started. And I keep getting the two guys. I hear something like Lucian. I don't know. They're like, I keep picking up like unsavory characters. Like they're just kind of like mean. I don't know if they're connected to any particular group or not. Something happened at the gas at a gas station or somewhere where he stopped. I'm pretty sure it's a gas station. But it's like he stopped somewhere and then that's when this got weird for him. Cause I see I keep seeing him look through the rear view and like seeing them behind him and him kind of getting really nervous about it. And like that's why I feel like he got so I feel like he got a little lost and then also turned around and then like again I feel like he for some reason I feel like he flips a bitch like he makes a U-turn somewhere or he he goes past somewhere and then he turns around and he comes back which I don't I don't understand that but I, I keep getting that like he went he went forward and then he flipped around and came back I do think he was alone in the car but I do think he was being followed by these dudes for some odd reason like they just either didn't like the way he looked or the way he acted, or maybe he he looked at them wrong. Um, Cause these guys come off as like kind of jerks. I'd be curious if they know that he stopped anywhere. I don't know why I keep picking up like a like a beige a beige Jeep, like old school Jeep. 
the same time I pick up a white truck. So I don't really know. But the way I'm seeing these guys, it may be symbolic for them being a, like being part of the cartel or the military. Not like, not our military, but Mexican military. I don't really know. I don't freaking... It's weird. It's weird. Because I think that's why he... I think that's because, like I said, he's on he's on the pavement, but he gets off the pavement, and that's when he, he I don't know if the it was like a regular dirt road, and then it turned into more like thick, and he was going too fast, and that's how he flipped. Because I don't think his car's really built to drive in that kind of sand, but he wasn't. He was. I feel like a lot of fear from him. As long as I hit on it, you can tell me. Just as long as it's not any extra information. I'm just going to leave all that part at that because that's what I keep seeing. And it's not, it's not going away. So it's got to be right. Um, but now I'm trying to see if they actually caught up with him or if he just ran away and got lost. I know that they're the cause of him kind of flipping the car. Um, no. I wasn't picking that up. Like, I don't know if that's why I was feeling he was, wasn't in the right... Like, he's in a different state of mind. I don't know. He doesn't feel like one that would go and get drunk and drive. Like, that doesn't feel like the type of person he is. They do kind of remind me of that, but I don't think so, because these guys are not in uniforms or anything like that. I don't, because I see Border Patrol a lot, and they don't look like that. They're not in that kind of, I mean, yeah, Border Patrols have white vehicles, but this is, no, they, I don't know what, I don't know what they are. It's, it's like the kind of guys you see in the Mexican, Wasn't supposed to be or was supposed to be? I mean, I think he was he was going somewhere, but I like I said, he ended up somewhere that he didn't plan on going. And he ended up somewhere he wasn't. Right. Well, it was made for the desert, but not for the sand that he actually went in. Like, there's difference in trails. What I'm talking about is there's difference in trails. And when they take the trails, they but if they go off the trail, you know, it. Um, if they go off the trail, his, his car, his Jeep could not make it. You know what I mean? Like, it's not one of those off-roading, deep sand type of Jeeps is what I'm talking about. Yes, he was supposed to be out in the desert, but he wasn't supposed to be in this area or it wasn't a planned area where he ended up is what I'm talking about. No, that would be too obvious. I think it's more or less to talk about the kind of guys these guys are. Um, it's more rifles, not AKs that I keep getting. I don't know. I'm not. It's 
what I get when, like, after he crashes, I see him pull him, him crawl out of the car. So it's like he crawls out of the opposite window because he flipped it, but he crawls, and there's a there's blood on his head and there's a gash on his head, is what I keep getting. And I can see that, and I can see him pull himself out of the car, but it's like he takes off running. He takes off running like he doesn't go towards the road. He goes the opposite direction. Because I don't know if he, I don't know if these guys are still chasing him or if he just thinks that they're chasing him. It's okay. You can just rewatch it later. Um. Yeah, so <sighs> now I'm trying to see if they caught up with him or if he just got away and they are just like he's not going to survive out there kind of thing. Um, Because I don't know if they caught up with him or not. That's what I'm trying to see. Because they pe keep picking up guns. Like these guys had guns. But I don't know if they actually used it on him or not. I don't. No, no. I know that. I know that he was. He was. I know that that's why he was in the desert was to work and do geology stuff and all that. I get all that. I understand all that, but he ended up where he wasn't supposed to be. And the discrepancies are is because I feel like he, I don't know if he got lost or flipped a bitch or something like that. And in the, in the beginning it came up that, yeah, he was doing working and doing geologist stuff, but something derailed his plans. I see him going um, opposite direction of the road. So, okay, his vehicle's this way. He goes straight out into the desert. That's that's where I that's how I'm seeing it. So if you go straight, I don't know if that's up or down. I don't I don't know. But what I'm trying to see and what I'm struggling to see is if they if they chased him or not. If they got up if they got after him. Because I do see him pull over. But at this point he's injured from from the accident. Definitely head injury. Yeah, I don't know. They make weird noises sometimes. I hear the word crevice. So I don't know. I know it's I know it's like the desert, but I don't know if there are Like mountainous or ro or rock crevices out there, um, I don't even know if that makes I don't know if that makes sense because I hear the word crevice.
because I get, I mean, I get the lot of sand, but there's also reference to, um, like rocks or little mountainous, um, things. And I don't see these. It's weird because I don't see him chasing them out into the desert. I think he got lost and he was injured. And I see it. Okay, so he's making my ankle hurt. So he's he's tweaked his ankle on top of it. Um It's like he went into the like it's like he went into a rocky area or something like that to hide from these people. And I think he hurt I think he hurt his ankle. I keep hearing elements. Yeah. I don't know if they actually caught up with him though. It's almost like they chased him because I see him pull over and I see him get out, but I, it's like, they're like, he's never going to survive out there kind of thing. And they just, they didn't feel like chasing him kind of thing. Like it wasn't worth it. They just thought maybe because they keep getting, they need to be looking in the rocks for him. Yeah, no, because I don't see him chase him. It's like not worth the trouble or not worth the hassle. It wasn't that big of a deal. Like and maybe they just wanted to scare him in the first place. I don't really know. But they're the cause of the accident. They're the cause of him going and getting in the accident he got into. But I keep getting like a rocky area that they're missing. Like, he felt like he's in the crevice of a rocky area. Um, that's what I keep seeing. Like, a little ways from... Uh, I don't know how exactly how long from his car. I actually don't know how he got that far. But it's like he hurt his ankle on one of the rocks. Because I keep seeing him twist his ankle and he's making my ankle hurt. Um, ugh. Because I've, I've done that. I've had three surgeries on my ankle. And he's like. So he's. I think he jacked up his ankle. Because um, he's making it like ache. And I feel like I've just sprained my ankle. It's not not a cool feeling. Um, I would be going from his car out in out into the desert, but looking for, like, rocky areas um, and checking the crevices because that's what he keeps showing me over and over again. Um, in the area, it's got a weird name, and I don't, I don't know. I don't even know how to pronounce it or say it or what I'm getting in regards to it. Um, I feel like there's a lot of Mexican names around there, and I just can't. I think there might be a possible reservation around there somewhere. And a rest area? Around there somewhere? Um... But it's like I feel like he was climbing these rocks we're climbing into these rocks, thinking he could hide in the rocks and be safe while well, the people left. And I feel like he tweaked his ankle. It's like he got stuck there. I don't know if this happened during the summer or no. I don't know how hot it was. Yeah, like he went into like a kind of rocky area because I know like in the some places in the desert, I don't know if this area has it, where there's like, you know, a little 
little rocky areas or little mountain areas. And I keep picking up like kind of like a rock, rocky, like he went up there to hide, but he hurt his ankle and I keep getting crevice. Like he fell in a crevice and maybe he couldn't get out because I don't see him being, I don't see him chasing him and him being shot. Like that's not coming in. Because I see them pull over, like, and they see that he crashed. Um, and they're just, like, kind of laughing. And the one guy's like, should we go after him? And the other one's like, nah, he'll never survive out there kind of thing. Like, it, it wasn't worth their time to chase him, really. And they didn't want to go get their, like, truck stuck or walk in the sand or anything like that. Like, it was just too much work. Um, right. I am, we need to reach out to some of the people in the Arizona missing persons groups on Facebook because they do know where it was. They do know where the crash site is. Um, there's a post there and that's why I was like, Hey, I'm going to work that. That's what it reminded me. I would check that post in the Arizona missing persons. Maybe I'll send you a link when I get off here. And they know where the car wreckage was. But what I'm looking for, because I feel like there's a reservation around there somewhere, like not not too far from where he went missing. And then I keep getting a rest area. I don't know if it's or somewhere that's like a rest area. But also on the opposite side, I feel like it's more green. Like there's a reference to some trees and like a, a more green area. I keep getting a water tank, too. But it's like across the road. Like, it's weird. It's like across the road, there's a more green area with, like, more trees and bushes and stuff. But this is, like, all I'm mostly sand and desert. It kind of reminds me like a do like a dooney area. Um, dooney. I don't even know if that's a word, but, like, an area with, like, dunes. Like, you know, rifts in the sand. Like, that's what I keep seeing. I don't know if that's accurate to describe it. But, um, it's like I keep getting, that's why he went into the, it was like to hide. But then, I don't know if his phone was broken or he couldn't find it. Or, because when I get out of that wreckage, I feel like I'm super, I, still, I feel like I'm super scared. When I get out of that wreckage and like I'm running for my life kind of thing. Um, and I'm not thinking. I'm just trying to find cover. You know what I mean? Like that's how it comes across. And he he was a geologist. He knew. I don't know. Something about like he went into a rocky like type area. And I can't. I keep getting five miles but. I don't see why he would go that far. It could be within that, you know, mileage. doesn't necessarily mean he's five miles, but within five miles, I keep getting. So I'd be curious if there's, like, some kind of rocky area. I feel like he's been missed. I feel like everybody's looking in the sand and stuff. I don't know if they've looked in the rocky areas, um, mountainous areas. I don't – I keep picking up rocks. It's like he fell in a crevice and he couldn't get out and he messed up his ankle. Like, that's what I keep picking up. Um, yeah, that's why I said he was already bleeding from his head when the accident happened. As I was saying in the beginning, I, my whole side of my face was and head was hurting and my neck was hurting right here. And then he, when he got out of the vehicle, he, I saw blood coming from his head. So, yeah, he had a head injury as well. But that's why he took off that opposite way instead of back because he was afraid of these guys were going to chase him or and kill him and all that. And again, I don't know if it, I don't think it's in his mind at all. I think that he really was being chased and he really was kind of in danger, but he they didn't feel like they needed to chase him once he got out in the desert. It was just like not worth their time or anything like that. And maybe they're just trying to teach him a lesson and scare him like you know what I mean? So, 
that's what I keep getting over and over. I keep getting the same stuff over and over, so it's got to be right. I always say when spirit gives stuff, if it doesn't change and you keep seeing the same thing over and over, then it's from spirit and it's right. So he's very adamant about what I'm seeing. I lost my picture again. It's sad because it's all like really unfortunate just circumstances. It's weird. I don't know. I don't understand. He like looked at him wrong or they didn't like the way he looked or something that made him chase. I think they were just trying to scare him. I don't. I just keep getting like unsavory characters when it comes to these two guys. And they're rough looking. Rough looking like two Mexican rough looking dudes. But I'd be curious where I'd be curious where the car was if there's any like like if he were to go straight from the wreckage and maybe zigzag a little bit even. Like maybe straight. I keep wanting to go this way, but it could be mirrored because I've noticed that my locations have been backwards lately, like mirrored. So but I keep wanting to like veer off to the right. I could I could be being mirror. I could could be a mirror, like you know, mirror image, but I keep wanting to veer off to the right. Like not, I'm going straight for a little bit, but then I veer off. Like I'm going towards somewhere where I can hide. Is what it comes, how it comes across. But it's like he's in the. I feel like he's in this little, like this crevice, like between rocks or, I don't know if it's rocks or mountains or whatever. But I keep getting like he's in a crevice, like he. That's why they haven't found him because they're not, they haven't looked inside like little, it's like a little crevice. I do. Yeah, I am. I'm picking up everything I possibly can. No, I said that I was picking up a white truck, but I was picking up a Jeep, like a tan Jeep, like old school Jeep. more of a rifle, not an AK. I mean, it's kind of impossible to get an exact location considering I'm in the middle of the desert. Um, and I don't know the name of the area where he, where he, I'm giving you exactly what he's giving me. I have the picture here. I'm giving you everything that I'm getting. So, He's, that's what I'm saying. He's in a crevice in, in the rocks is what he, the way he keeps bringing it up is that he fell and he couldn't get out and he had a jacked up ankle and he kind of got stuck there. And I think that's why he hasn't been found. I don't know if anybody's looking in the crevice of the rocks or that area. Rocky. It's like a rocky kind of mountain kind of. And it's not too far back. It's like he was just going there to hide. And he hurt himself more besides the head injury that he had. He hurt like his ankle. So not only did he have a head injury, and that's why I said I felt like um, My whole side of my head and face with my neck felt weird because I think he hurt his neck and his head all right here. Like, I think he had a concussion. Because as I'm, as I, he's, he's not just running, he's stumbling as he's running. And he's kind of zigzagging like he's dizzy. Like he might have a concussion of some kind or something like that. Because he's dizzy. But the reason why I didn't go the other direction is because as he was running, he was running away from these people. Yep. That's what he's showing me. He's showing me like he's in, you know how sometimes the, like in the desert they have like these rocky areas or mountainous areas and, you know, just like rocks are. There's like little gaps and holes in a crevice. Like that's what he's showing me. He's showing me his bones in there. Like I keep seeing a skull. So I'm guessing that's what 
they would find um, Unfortunately, he's not alive because of all the stuff he's been making me feel. And he started giving me neck pain in the very, very beginning. Which I can pick up if someone's just been in an accident. But the way he made my ankle feel um, just it's weird. It's just like... It's weird because I like when I when he's when he's running, it's like he's he's kind of paranoid and scared. Like he was freaked out. And that's what I'm saying. I felt like he was freaked out when he was driving and stuff. He kept looking in his rear view, kept looking over his shoulder. And they were following him. I don't think that was in it. I don't think it was in his mind. They were following him because I keep seeing them. I mean, it could have been in his mind, but. But it's like they pull over where he pulled off the road and they get out and they're just like, no, not worth it. Not worth driving out there. He's not going to make it anyways. Kind of thing. Which is weird I keep picking them up, but I do. And again, I don't know if they're just in his mind or if they really were. But I keep picking up the gas station. Like that's where they saw where he's where they saw him at. That keeps coming in. So it's all the same stuff keeps coming in. But the discrepancies is this weird. I don't know if he was trying to lose them or what. Because I feel like he passed this area and he flipped the bitch and came back. And it's like across on the other side. There's. It's more green. Like there's trees and stuff like that. But on this side it's like a lot more deserty. I keep getting like. Deeper sand, or I see it like sand dunes, but that's how I see desert sometimes in vision. So I don't know if there's actually like thicker, you know, more duny areas, but I'd be curious if there's like some kind of mountains or rocks or something not far from where he, he flipped his car. So keep wanting to veer to the right, but again, it could be. I just see him stumbling, poor kid. And, like, the blood is dripping from his head, you know, because he, he's disoriented, very disoriented. His head hurt a lot because he's been making my head hurt a lot. And I think the nausea that he's making me feel is, like, from dehydration and hunger and things like that. Like, I think that's why I feel nauseous because I felt nauseous is almost this whole reading and a little ungrounded, honestly. Like, um, I don't know how to explain it. Hungry. I feel hungry, which I shouldn't be hungry. So, and nauseous, but I think that's. He, like, couldn't get out of that little crevice. I don't, I don't know what kind of freaking crevice that is, but it's like, beside him having a head injury and an ankle, a hurt ankle, because I definitely feel he tweaked his ankle or hurt his ankle. Either broke it, sprained it, something. Because he, he made me feel that. like, And I know how it feels, because I've done it three times. So. That's why I keep getting for location-wise. He's. In like a like a rocky mountain kind of area, like not far from us. I can't within five miles, but it could be. I don't know. Could I don't see why he would go any further than that. Other than if he was just looking for, it was gonna be the first place that he could have possibly hid. The first place he could have hid, like. You know, if you're running from someone and you find the first place you can hide from. Because I think at that point, and maybe they stuck around for a little bit to see if he was going to come at, you know, come back out. And I think he was waiting. But I'm telling you, I think he fell in, like, these rocks and he got, like, stuck. Like, he couldn't leave. And then he just, from the elements, because I heard elements. So, from the sun and the elements. And then him going into dehydration and not eating and being hurt because I feel like he may have passed out 
at some point because of the head injury from the accident. Um, I can't either. I'm always just like, I, <laughs> like I said, sometimes stuff is mirrored. Like I want to go one way, but it's really the other way. But that's why I always tell people it's mirrored sometimes. But I, I really feel like I'm veering off into the right, but it might be the left. Because it's like across the road on the other side. Like I said, there's more trees and it's more green and stuff. This is more like a desert kind of area. I don't know what the heck. Um, the name, the name of it's like a weird name and I can't get it. I don't know how they've missed him though. That's the only that's the only reason I'm kind of questioning this. Because I'm not I don't understand how they've missed him. Because I know they've had search parties, unless they're focused more on the sand. That's why I'm second I'm second guessing this because I'm not I'm not sure really how they I don't know how they missed it. It's just it doesn't make any sense how they would have missed him. Unless they didn't focus on this area, which I don't know why they wouldn't, but. I just keep seeing a skull in a crevice, in the crevice, in the crevice of like, it's like a weird, it's like a weird spot. I don't know. I don't know. It's, for, it's This is from the wreckage, not the work location, because he wrecked wherever he had the accident at. Like, the whole chain of events is just odd. It's making me question every, everything, because it's, it's really... It's like the whole thing is so odd. I feel like he was really close to his dad. He keeps talking about his dad. I don't know if they were really close or what, but he was talking about him. And how he's sorry he's had to go through this. He knows it hasn't been easy. And he feels like his dad doesn't feel like he's getting the help that they deserve or something. Yeah, I'd really be curious if where I'm describing is around where his wreck was. Because I just keep seeing the same thing over and over. So, they need to be checking, like, even, like, you know, how something's, like, tiny like that. Or even a little bit bigger, but it's it just got stuck in there somehow. I feel like he lost his footing. That's just the way it comes in. I hope it's right. Um, I always, I try not, I told myself I wasn't going to second guess anymore, that I was just going to take what spirit gave me 
and leave it at that because I tend to second guess and I need to stop doing that because spirit's giving me what they're giving me for a reason. And like, cause I'll second guess if somebody tells me somebody else got something else or doesn't match up or whatever, I'll start like saying, well, did I see that right? Did I get that right? I told spirit, I'm just going to trust what you give me. Just give me the right information because you know, psychic mediums were only 80 to 90% accurate anyways. Um, we're not God. We don't know everything, but I feel like I'm pretty accurate when it comes to this kind of stuff. And I just, I just got to trust what I got. That's, that, and that's what he's given me. That's what, and he's, and I keep, re I keep repeating it because I keep seeing it over and over. Like he's adamant. Like if I question it or if I, I kind of second guess it, spirit will repeat the vision. Usually if they repeat it and it does not change, it's right. And it's not changing. It's weird. It's like these guys caused his passing, but not directly. Like if they wouldn't have chased him or or made him feel scared, then um But this this rock feels more like it's like larger, like um, it's, it's very rocky, but it's like there's different levels to it and crevices and stuff. I don't know how to explain it. But he like went there to hide and then he just got he fell and got stuck. And I think at least they'll find a skull because I say keep showing me. I don't know why he keeps showing me that like. My skull's in this little tiny crevice or this little tiny area. And what's weird is um, I've never really gotten anything like this before. It's, it's very odd. Um, he shows me like bird circling at one point. I've never gotten that in a reading before. Why are annoying? I don't know if he was. They took too long to like even go looking for him. I just this went. The only reason I'm second guessing it is because I don't. I don't understand as to as to how they missed him. That's what I'm. I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. How they missed him. How they have missed him with all these searches. And I just keep getting that in the crevice and rocks. Area has a weird name I can't pick up. I keep getting an R, but I know that's also his last. Yeah, I guess that would be his last initial. Hmm. Oh, okay. Did they not think he was missing or something at first? I don't know where his car was. If you tell me where his car was, but I don't I don't know. I'm not going to be just able to pick up where his car was. I don't even know where he went missing from or anything. I just know I get the 10, 10 freeway, but that's all I get. And then, like I said, there's a reservation. If you guys can tell me exactly where his car was, then I can look, but. I have to go from his car. So did they not think he was missing or something at first? 
Because I feel like everything's like really delayed. Maybe that's why he's mentioning his dad, but I think his dad and him are close or something. There's some kind of, he feels bad that his dad's had to go through all this and he hasn't got much cooperation. Flies are driving me crazy. All right. I don't know how to put. I don't know how to put coordinate. You just put coordinates in the the map. I don't know how that works. All right, but I need to go from where his car was. Going from what we just picked up. Do you have the coordinates of where the car was? I don't know how to... I know. I don't know how to put that in. That is that coordinates or I just, I don't know. I don't understand how to put that into a map. <laughs> That's not helpful. If I had coordinates, then I could, it's okay. Baby. It's okay. I'm okay. Okay. I'm okay, baby. I promise you I'm okay. Okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I get loud. She has to come and see why I'm upset or yelling or frustrated or whatever. I wasn't picking up a ranch. Well, I, I need, I need, yeah, I need the coordinates. That's not the coordinates. That's long and lat. Sorry, my dog's barked outside and it freaked everybody out. I need the if I get the coordinates, I'll look at it, but I don't think if I type that in it'll come up, but we'll see. Um degrees I 
it would give me a See, it's not going to come up typing that in like that. Stop it. Stop. No, she sent me a map, but I... <sighs> the map, I can't... I guess I'll have to write it down because... White Oak Mountain. Oh, maybe that's why I was seeing the tank. White Tank Mountain. It's weird. I got a sun the other day. I can't read my own writing. It won't do it. I type that in, it won't come up. I don't have the coordinates, that's what I'm saying. Open. Stop, Cheyenne. It's okay. Open. I can't. I don't. I don't understand. Stop, Cheyenne. It's okay. It's okay. Quit freaking out on me. It's fine.
I have long and lat, but I don't know how to put the long and lat in. I, I need the coordinates, and I don't have the coordinates. But that may be why I was seeing a white tank. Maybe it was symbolic. But when I said the water tank, it was a white tank. So that's probably why I was seeing that. Okay, that's all right. I think I got the roundabout area. It's weird because I just got a sun yesterday when I was trying to help this lady find her cat. I kept seeing a sun, and that's North Sun Valley Parkway. I thought it was like an ornament or something for that. No, that's what I tried. It's all right. I got the idea. I just put in White Tank Mountains. And I think that's why I kept seeing a white tank. When I said the white, the ta um, water tower, it was white. It was a white tank, you know, white tank water tower. So that's probably why. I mean, I don't know. It's just, I, there's no way of knowing because like I told you guys, I see it like I'm there. So there's, I can't tell you an exact location other than just the mountains, rocky areas need to be checked. How he flipped his car at the work site. That's weird, though. See, here's like a rock. This is kind of like what I was talking about. Um... And there's a crevice in it, too, according to this picture. I don't know exactly how far it is. I don't want to pin it. Okay. I don't know where his car was. Really, I can't do the coordinates. But, like, this is what I'm talking about when I keep seeing the rock. My phone's going to do something weird now because I unplugged it to show you guys. Okay, so see this, like, rock? Like, that's what I'm talking about. Not necessarily mountains, but rock. See, there's, like, a like a crevice right there. Like, that's the kind of crevice I'm talking about. Um, so I guess I can see. You know what I mean? Because I keep getting crevice. So this is like the closest rocky area. I just kind of ran into it. It's like a little rock in the middle of this area. And there's a, see the crevice right there? Like that's what I'm talking about. Okay. So this coordinates is, uh, maybe we're typing the coordinates wrong. <laughs> I think we're typing them wrong. We're putting dots and we're not supposed to. So, 
33.613935, comma dash 112.633837. I would say like that needs to be checked because that's like the closest rock I can see. There's some behind it, but that's like more, that's like what I'm looking for. It looks like it's pretty rocky. Um, so I guess that's like a huge rock. It's weird that it says sun, because I swear to you guys, I was just helping this girl find her cat, and I kept talking about a sun, and I said, well, maybe it's an ornament or something. Bell. Yeah, that figures. And I think that was my water tank, a white tank. Makes sense, because I was seeing a white tank. <sighs> I feel sick. I don't know. I feel freaking sick. So that's the pin I dropped. That's what I'm looking for. I mean, that makes the most sense, honestly. If I could figure out how to type in these coordinates. No, not for my location. It's only five hours from me. Um, three, 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 six, three, four. I don't know. I don't understand how to type it in. No, it's okay. You're cool, Tammy. Uh, don't worry about it. I wish I could see how far away this was, this area is from... Come on, why'd you move my pen, you stupid thing? Now I can't find the stupid rock again. But that rock looked like what I was talking about. In that crevice, I could see how he would be missed if he was inside there. I don't freaking understand. I mean, I don't know. Like, this reading doesn't make sense, but whatever. It's what he showed me. Tonopah. That's what I was kind of think what I was trying to get because I knew it was like a weird ass name. I thought there was a... Yeah. Um, well, like I showed you, like that's the kind of rocky area I'm talking about. A white tang mountain makes sense. Um, I swear there was a reservation around here, but I'm not seeing one. Um, there has to be one in, around somewhere. See, there is more green across the other side. Okay, there is a reservation. The Coralado... Hey, chill out. The Coralado uh, River Reservation. So there is a reservation. It's a little ways up, but it's still in the area. Okay. Um, yeah, and across from there, see, it is, it is green and there is a river. So that would make sense as to what I was seeing. 
Yeah, but I really think the white tank I was seeing when I said I saw a white water tank, it was the white tank. Literally white tank mountains. That's what I mean by sim symbolic. Um, it would just like be a, a lone standing thing of rocks. And I lost, I can't find where I, where I told you guys that I saw that rock area. I can't find it now. That little rock area needs to be looked looked at because it's like I saw it. So, because these mountains just look like mountains. We're looking for a crevice, kind of. No, a. <laughs> Usually when the dogs bark outside, they don't bark. I don't know what their problem is today. So, I don't know why they're being dumbasses tonight. Sorry. I'll start leaving them put away, though, if they can't behave themselves. Because that's ridiculous. It's because they hear the dog barking outside. Um... I don't know. Those coordinates I gave, I would I would check that rock because that's what I see that looks like what I was talking about. But now I can't find it. And I don't know how far away it is from the damn car. Oh, there it is. I found it. Yeah. I'd be curious that I don't know how far away this is from the car, though, because I can't figure out how to pull up the car coordinates. Well, that rock is in the area where his car was, so I would have that checked and all the ones that look like it, if there are any, because I don't see any other ones. It's a weird, I don't know, it's a weird spot. I don't, I don't know why he would go there, but all I know is what I saw and what he showed me. I don't, and hope that it's right. Because that is like a rock I was seeing, so... I don't know. I'm still feeling sick, so. I think it's just so trippy that this is Sun Valley and I just got a sun in that reading for that cat yesterday. It just shows the interconnects. Like I, I didn't even know I was going to work on this case yet when I got that. That's tripping me out a little bit. It just shows spirit knows more than I do. See, across from there, it is greener and stuff. Right, right across the road is like different. I don't know. It's weird. That rock looks like the closest thing. I don't know why it would be on that fucking rock, though. Like, I don't know. I don't know why it would be on there. I don't understand. I don't know. Like, it make, doesn't make sense to me. Really, what they showed me, it doesn't, but... 
That's what they showed. Where is my pin over there? I'm tripping on that sun. That's crazy. I swear, you guys, I got that yesterday. That's a trip out. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm i feeling like super sick. Like I don't even think I can even get anything else. I don't know why I feel sick all of a sudden. I'd be curious if there actually is a water tank around there, too. What the heck is going on? The dog sounds like he's choking to death. Dog sounds like he's like choking on something or something. Stressing me out. I think that's all I'm getting, guys. I don't. That's it. I don't. You're just looking for an area like I described. Um. I got Dixie in my, that's weird, Dixie's across from there, and I got that on, on, um, my random list, I got Dixie, also there's Arlington Volcano, which she kept talking about a volcano, remember, um, so there's an Arlington Volcano across from there, so that's interesting, There's something about that. He kept bringing up the volcano, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it or not. Mm. It's interesting. There's a volcano there. It's on the other side. I was talking about that. Huh.
I mean, he's got to be in the area because I feel super sick. I just, I'm feeling so sick that I can't even. focus on anything. See, there's a bunch of, like, rock things. There's another one. So we're looking for rocks like that, that have crevices in them. I mean, none of this really makes sense. I'm, like, really questioning the reading now, but I gotta not do that. It has to be right. Just looking for rocky areas with crevices. I mean, that's that's it. I mean, it's going to look different there anyways. It's going to look different. So, I mean, finding them, that, that depends a lot on um, on people and, and the where they look and all of that. I can't say if they will or not. Sometimes I get information on that, sometimes I don't. So, I mean, you're just looking for rocky areas with a crevice, you know, not far from where his car was, I think. So... Power station. Pumping plant. See, there must be also a actual, because see multiple meanings, the white tank mountain, but there must also be a water water tank somewhere. So I was getting water tank. I bet you that Tonopah was the name I was couldn't get. Tonopah Salom. I bet you, because I wouldn't have got that. I know it sounded weird and I like couldn't make it out. There's something about Bell Row. I feel cool too, but I don't know why. No, nope. I just see keep seeing a rock, like a big rock, rocky area. A big rocky area that just, just keeps coming in. Because I'm looking at this bow road and I'm like, um. But I just keep picking up a, like a, like rock. A big rock with crevices and stuff in it. That's what I keep picking up. So everything looks different in person anyways. Um. But there's something about this bell road. I just don't know what it is. I feel a pull to it. I'd be curious if that's where his car was or something. Um, Because I feel a pull to that road for some odd reason. 
And I've gotten that before, like way long time ago. I wonder if there is a of like water tank here as well. Okay, yeah, I think it's for white white tank mountains, but I think it there might actually be one. I just got that in another case too. I just keep seeing a large rock. I don't know. That's it. That's not changing. So I'm like, is he in the sand or what? And I just keep getting that same thing. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Hopefully the searchers, you know, the searchers are going to be out there. And they can just, they need to check the, like, large rocks, large looking rocks things, large rocky areas with crevices. That's it. That's what I keep getting. So I'll just have to look, check that out. I mean, this whole area is making me sick, and it's probably because it's just the desert. Desert does that to me. <laughs> Other, yeah. So I think that's it. They just they need to look for it. rocky areas with crevices in them. That's all I can say. It's weird that sun that sun fits here. That's weird. See why can't I don't know why I can't get that stuff on. Yeah, no, but he's not that far from his car. There's nowhere that that'd be far away from his car. I don't know why I can't get certain things like in the reading itself, but like I said, I got sun yesterday before I ever did this reading. <sighs> Crazy. Yep, I think that's it. I mean, I'm not, there's no, because it's just sand and stuff all around him. It's just, I just keep, like I told you guys, I see it like I'm there and I remote view it like I'm there. And he, and also he just keeps showing me, like I said, like a big rock, like I gave you examples of on my map. That's what I keep seeing. So anywhere he could have fell into and been hurt. I'm starting to question if there's foul play, but I don't think so. Not from what he showed me. So I'm actually getting sick looking at the map. I can't do it anymore. Um, it's because it's freaking the desert. Desert always makes me sick. I don't know why. When I look at it on a map. So. I think that's it. 
I think that's it. I think that's it. <sighs> so, um, I don't know. I have a couple of my people maybe reach out to some of these searchers and see. Or let them know what I got. See if they can at least check it. It's not going to hurt to check it. They're out there anyways. So, I would just check the, the, the large rocky areas. That's all I can suggest. Okay, so make sure if you haven't already, like, follow, share with those you think that it'll be helpful for. I pray that it's right. I don't know why I'm second guessing it. I always do that with my readings. I need to stop and just trust what spirit gave. So, make sure you have the notification bell. I'll try to do members only tomorrow. You're welcome. I'm just, I'm feeling sort of sick. I just need to get off here now. <laughs> and I'm feeling extremely, extremely drained. I don't know why I feel so drained. I think because I was really trying hard to get what he was giving me. And it, at the same time, I was questioning it a little bit. So he was trying even harder and he was using my energy. So he drained. I'm feeling extremely drained. I'm feeling hot. I'm just not. Sometimes certain spirits affect you more than others. And he's just affecting my my body more than what I'm used to, um, more than others do, I guess I should say. So, I don't know what you mean by nice try, but I gave the information that just needs to be checked. That's it. If they, people, searchers, they know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, People with searchers, they'll know, they'll know what I'm talking about anyways. I showed a, I showed an example. There are rocks out there like that. They just need to check the large rocks with the crevices. Or anywhere with a crevice, it's rocky. Yeah. No, that's fine. It's, I don't know, it's making me sick for some reason. So. Sometimes it doesn't. It drains me even more looking at a map. I don't really know why, but it does. It does. It does take a lot out. And I know, I try not to second guess, but I just, for some reason, I don't know. I start to question things. <laughs> but that's my human mind doing that. So, I try, I'm try. i really trying not to do that anymore. It's hard. <laughs> Especially when you have people, you know, certain people think other things or whatever. <sighs> so... Especially since, I mean, I guess he did end up kind of where he was supposed to work at. So it kind of doesn't make sense of why he would flip his car there. But, I don't know. He was adamant about the two people. Now, whether that was in his mind or it really happened, I don't know. So. All right, guys. I will, I'm going to try to do members only live tomorrow on Kanika Jenkins. If you guys are interested, become a member. Um, don't forget about the Patreon. Black Delilah will be the next Patreon one. Um, I'm going to get that soon as done as soon as I can. And then I'm not, I don't know what I'm going to do next. Um, oh, I'm not worried about that. I haven't actually dealt with any trolls recently, thank God. But uh, I was trying to think. I don't, I don't know what case I'm going to do next. I'm kind of just going where I'm drawn. If they pop in my head, I just do it. So I'll usually post it whenever I figure it out. I'll post whatever case I'm going to work on next. It'll be posted on the wall. So just, you know, pay attention to the wall. If you're not in the group, Psych Sleuth Podcast, Psychic Sleuth Podcast group, please join that group. If you haven't already, answer the questions. We talk about extra stuff in there. Um, you can reach me through there. And then, yeah, but that's going to be a members only so, you have to be a member to see that one. Um, and then, like I said, Black Delilah will be for Patreon. And I'll let you guys know whatever I figure out for the next one, whenever I figure it out. Because I don't know. I don't know yet. What the next, I think I have an idea, but I'm not sure. So, but I always post in there too when I'm going to go live and what I'm going to go live on. So, 
All right, it was cool hanging out with you guys tonight. It was a little weird without Shazam and a couple other people, but... Um, in a way, it is. I know. I I feel a little. I've already gotten a little bit of that on there. Um, I actually think it was a firefighter, but and it's drug related. Um, I do know that. So, all right. I'll let you guys go. I'll see you, members. Hopefully tomorrow. As long as I'm not too drained. I feel super drained all of a sudden. See you guys later.